it up in the end last night. So I'm going in, it's like I'm going to weld it up. So he welded it on the roll cage. But I was out there early. content. So we went with plan B. It was nearly plan C. I couldn't figure out where that noise was coming from. <laughs> They the winning pressures, Fred. Mm. They the winning pressures. Yeah, <laughs> they are. Or third, third or second place pressures. <laughs> we always get seconds with these pressures. <laughs> Show me your best catwalk. <laughs> So we're at Northampton, um, domestic meeting, three, two heats and a final. So you've got the heat one, heat two and then a final, not the other way around this time. Um, about 16, 17 cars, not too many. Hopefully it's a good meeting. First time out in the course uh, in a long time since Mildenhall. And it's the first time I'm on a shale since doing YouTube. So it'd be good for other people to see what shale's like. A few of you have been asking me if I do shale. I do, and we're here. And let's see how we get on. Hopefully my goggles work. Last time I was on a shale, they didn't work at all, not one race. There you go. Good luck, babe. Cheers, baby. Want a bit of tape? Yeah, please.
doing? I felt like I had no bowel at all. Didn't look like it. No, I had nothing. I don't know if I've got the right gear in there. I need to check that box, make sure it's not a long box. No, uh, maybe. I had nothing, no power. Have a look. The handling didn't feel too much different to anyone else's. It seemed like I was doing the same Just line, had no... No Even when I was getting it. a better pull out the corner than the other one there, you're just still going to handle down the stroke. Check that box. Let's have a look. Because... Um, handling wise, it's just... I don't know, you just had to hug that inside. That was what you could do. Yeah. That was all a bit like that. Yeah. But... Let's check that up and have a look, don't we? Yeah. Terrible. No good. Have a look. Close. Maybe we'll put the other thing in. Because that was what? rubbish. It's terrible. <coughs> Did you have you had the other one? Yeah. I'd like something on that, just to sort it out.
A few things because that was absolutely terrible. Tires, pressures, gearing. <laughs> so if they're even worse, then I'm unloading it up. <laughs> Heavier gearing in, change the tyre, tyre pressures. Let's see. Who knows? Yeah. What did you just say? <laughs> You're going to be chewing in the background there. <laughs> I'm leaving it in. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> Sound all heel, buddy. Wish we got that Civic out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is what it is. We'll take next to me on the wall now, won't we? Yeah. We'll find it, Papa, we'll find it. You know
car? Yeah, it was. Power wise, it's much 10 times about. Oh, right. So, that's, that's the right, that's definitely the right way. Okay. So, and we've got another gear we can go up. <laughs> uh, better. Yeah. It's set up better as well. Was it? Yeah. Because it's pretty dry out there. Yeah. It's like a tarmac. Probably, probably go more, more towards dry again. Yeah? Because it ain't going to get no. No, it won't get wet. Huh? Probably, uh, I would, I would keep going that way. Yeah? That gear is much better. Is it? Yeah, much. Um, still got nowhere near the power the Honda's got. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's just that gear in there. That gear is much better. I actually, I actually felt it, I was on par with people down the street now. So, I'll see if I've got. Yeah, we'll go more. To so, keep going that way. Wherever we go. Okay. Is the back gripping? Swap that back. The back felt alright to us. Swap the back? Take. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, got ya. Yeah. Yeah, and also, on the inside of the line, this end. Um, there's like a drain or something mm. and it's like a ditch and then as you go over it the back's jumping up in the yeah. air and throwing you off it's, there's a rut I think I don't know if yeah it's so it's, it's sort of could... so even though we're going to adjust it we need to take that into account really right. yeah. that was better went the right way so we're just going to keep going that way now Better life is sort of compete. Not with the front yellows and blues though. They've gone. Okay. Keep going that way, see how we have got to say. Huh? Don't think too hard. <laughs> yeah. I bleep that one as well. How do you not know where things are? I don't know. Oh my god. It winds me up. It's not in here, is it? What are you looking for? A red box. That's why, because it's not in here. Heat 2 was alright, it was a lot better, changed gearing, changed tyre, changed everything as much as we could really, um, and it's better, still not on par with some of the others, especially the lower graders that are on it today. Um, shame because Jack Howard's here in a Civic and he is absolutely flying, so it's a shame we didn't get our one done, but there's always a next time. Um, changed some springs again for this one, so 
all we can do is try. Say the track, the track is really dry and it's not the best track to race on today. It's, you just basically got to hug the inside and hope for the best without going on the drain and without going over the ruck that's been made. So, change a few springs and we'll try again now. Good luck. Cheers, baby. See what we can do, eh? Final double points, double money. <laughs> Come on.
that got going? It was flying. It's jumping out of gear down the straight. Oh. I'm holding it in second gear the last two laps. I took the bungee off. It kept halfway down the straight, it just come out of gear. The bungee's literally pulling it like that. And it's coming out of gear halfway down the straight. You see it in the video, that's I don't know what I was on it as well, we're catching them lot. That was the leader yeah. as well, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the lead pack. You come fifth, I think. That's what the can only beat the cluster, can't it? I've never had anything like that. In the end I took the bungee off, I don't know if it was a bungee, and then they done it again and I literally held it in second like that, holding it in second, going down the straight, it's trying to yank it out of my hand to go to pull out. <laughs> That's what I do. She was on it though. Yeah, that was much better. She was on it, but there was actually a line out there this time. Right. You couldn't do that in the last one. No. But there was actually a, a racing line out there. It was, oh, well. it was good fun, but yeah. <sighs> that's frustrating. That's so frustrating. We've got that other uh, cable set up. Yeah, I know. Could go yeah. on this. Yeah, it could do. Right. Ah. Uh, and you know, and you just see them there the whole time as well. And you're catching, catching, and then that happens. I don't know. <sighs> anyway. That's race for you, though. Yeah, I oh, know. I'll take that. Should we go get our three pound? Yeah. <laughs> Kurt probably have three pound. So that is the end of the meeting. Uh, yeah, it was all right. It was all right. It was good fun in the last one. But overall, it was all right. Compared to the few results we've had in the last couple of meetings, it's not the best of results, but we take what we can. Say it's a big learning curve for us. Starting with heat one, I finished out of the results. Um, and we definitely had the wrong gearing in, definitely. Um, I know I spoke to a few people and they were saying they were running the gearing I started with and they were doing all right. I don't know how, but each to their own. And then I spoke to a few people to the gearing that I was gonna to change to and they said they were going, they said it was it was right. So I think we went on to the right gearing in the end. But yeah, first one, basically we we went to Mildenall in this car and it was absolutely hammer it down. It was soaking wet and we found something. We changed the setup drastically and we found something and it was fast. And we ended up applying that to Northampton, which is completely wrong. We shouldn't have done that. We've already got a base set up for that Corsa for shale which is a Kings Lynn or a Northampton, and we know it goes well. But we went thinking from that Mildenall, which is completely different track in completely different conditions, we thought, oh yeah, that worked. Does that, that make us even better on the other shell tracks now? <laughs> nah, it, it, this, it did not work that way. And that was a rookie mistake on our part. We should have gone to the base setup that we used last time at Northampton or Kings Lynn and gone from there. So that's, that's our fault. We should, we should have clocked onto that, but we thought we had found something and clearly it was just for a wet mill and all. So we're going to leave that at a wet mill and all for next time. So yeah, setup we feel was wrong and the gearing was wrong. So out the results in the heat first one. Moving on to heat two. I managed to pick up an eighth, which is one point. So <laughs> change the gearing, change the tyre and change pressures more towards what we would normally run on shale and... Uh, on both shale tracks, Northampton and Kings Lynn. And it was better, much better. Um, I didn't get a result, I still only got eighth off the back, but there were some quick yellows and blues. That was when the Reds were trying to bat it out at the beginning and they get away, it's, it's a struggle to catch them. So I managed to pick up an eighth. Car felt better, so I said to Dad, let's keep moving in that way, in that direction. And we did for the final. And looking at the setups from that and the last King's Lynn we done, it's the exact same setup that we ended up on. So, also to add in, the track in the first two races was bone dry and it was just big clumps of it breaking up. You can probably see from the videos. So the only line around there was hugging that inside inside line, which doesn't make for very good shale racing. I don't think having to keep. Do you mind? having to keep hugging that inside line. But anyway, it is what it is. And they managed to sort the track out for the last race, the final, when we feel that we had the best out of the car. So 
there was actually an outside line, a bit of a racier line for shale, which is how I feel shale should be, flying it as far out and wide as you can and then breaking in. And that's how it was. And I managed to pick up a fifth in the end. As you can see in that video, I was chasing the lead pack and <laughs> I've never had it happen before. And if you guys have had it happen before, let me know in the comments what it was. We haven't investigated it yet. The car's not off the trailer yet, so we don't know. But I'm guessing it's to do with the cluster. The fact that as soon as I pull it under under load, with a bungee pulling it right back, it was still springing it into neutral. So I had to quickly yank it back in a second. It done it twice. I thought, for some reason, I thought the bungee's messing it up. Because I don't, I've never had that happen before. So I yanked the bungee off and it done it again. So even then, after that, I was holding it in second gear while going right round and it was still trying to yank it out of my hand. And it actually did, as I went past the line the second time after the checkered, it actually did yank out my hand. So, yeah, that was the problem that we have to find. We will investigate. If you do know, let me know in the comments. And in the last one as well, just looking at that, I did get the fastest lap. So I know that doesn't mean much in stock cars, but it's a good thing to take away from. So that is the end of the meeting. Thank you very much for watching. I know this is quite a long one. If you do enjoy these, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share on all the social medias and i'll see you in the next one